Hi, this is Bob, the old ham, and I was uh, working on some equipment here on the uh, on the workbench, and I wanted to check out some wattage uh, levels, RF wattage levels with the Bird 43 meter, and I put this slug in, and it didn't work at all. So what I uh, I got to thinking about it, and I had just purchased this. I hadn't tried it out, and it had come in the mail. And I thought uh, about the fact that I knew that uh, these have a little tiny adjustment pot inside, and that uh, sometimes these little adjustment pots get intermittent. This is a used one that I bought, as is. So uh, anyhow, I got to thinking about that, and I thought this thing was uh, shipped uh, in the mail, and it was subject to some vibration and all. And I thought, well, what if that little uh, pot somehow came loose, the wiper came loose inside uh, where it contacts the uh, resistance element inside the little tiny pot. And I knew that people had had trouble with that before with these type of slugs or elements. So anyway, so what I did is I took it out of the meter and I turned it upside down on the workbench. I did it on the wood there, but I, I got a towel here to protect the uh, surface a little bit on the top of the element. And I just did this. And you know what? The thing started working and it's been working ever since, no problem. And I just thought I'd show you guys that. And the other thing I do with these is I take a uh, pencil with one of these erasers on it and I just very gently clean the contacts on both sides with that eraser. Don't want to do a whole lot because you don't want to take the plating off of there. Just enough to shine them up a little bit. And that's it. And you're back in business. But if you get one of these that doesn't work, give it the old treatment. That's it guys. This is a short one. 73's and good DX.